And it's probably worth saying here, it has come up even from folks on Framework Core asking a reasonable question of like, look, does this distinction that Dan just alluded to where Ember Truth Helpers is close, it's not identical. Like, does the distinction in semantics really matter that we need to jump through these hoops? And our answer to that is yes, because we, well, the way to think about it here is number one, we never want to tell a a real lie. Like we've junk, joked for the last couple of days here, the last couple of videos about everything being lies all the way down. But the way we think about this is these are lies that are attempting to actually tell the truth about Glint. We are making all of this up, but we're making it all up with an eye to saying, here is a an actual, accurate, truthful representation of Glint in a way that makes sense to the compiler accurately and gives you useful diagnostics accurately. And so what we don't want to do ever is tell you this thing is type safe in a way that is a lie, that is going to cause something to blow up at runtime. And at the same time, in the case of something like Ember Truth Helpers, where a direct mapping of Ember Truth Helpers and or etc., the actual if you go look at the actual implementation of those, it's not the same semantics as uh, JavaScript and Ant. Uh, Handlebars truthiness semantics in general are not the same, and so we have to s try to balance. How can we give you truthful answers here in the template? where we're not going to promise you, yes, this thing will always be defined if you've checked here by using and, and then you end up with an error at runtime, well, you're immediately going to come file a bug on us in Glint, and you would be right to do so. And also, very similar to the TypeScript team itself, we have a fair bit of pragmatism here. We want to be able to say, look, you can choose to opt in, and if you choose to opt in, using these special forms, using the ability to say, look, Ember Truth Helpers is close enough for my purposes, and if it blows up, that's on me. I accept the responsibility. I used that knowing that there was a small, shows up 0.02% of the time difference, and I got a runtime error in a place where Glint promised me it was safe. But I opted myself into that behavior, so I understood what I was signing up for. That's the balance we're walking here. If we get to a point where we rationalize in one way or another, Glimmer template syntax semantics to actually match here, well, then we won't have to do that. And a straightforward path you could imagine there is if we adopt something like HTMLX or a Svelte-like syntax where you have embedded JS expressions, but we just get that for free then. We don't have to write an EQ helper or a mapping for an EQ helper. You just use, you know, if brackets, foo, equal, 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 bar, and hey, TypeScript just gets that for free for you then, and we wouldn't have to do this dance. And that's kind of my hope of where the community goes long-term on this. But I think it's important to give that context of we're trying to ourselves always tell the truth through these lies. And then in the case of something like Ember Truth Helpers, give you the ability to opt in and say, look, I, I understand that in these rare edge cases, it could actually bite me. I'm willing to take that trade off because it's extremely useful to me. Fair.